What is going on, Vikings and Draconians? Draco Invictus here with episode two of our Road to the Mistlands. We are revisiting Valheim and uh, having a blast doing it. In the last episode, we defeated Ekthir on day one. And, well, before day two started, because day two technically starts at 6 a.m. Anyway, the 24-hour challenge, we completed it. And man, that dear God tasted delicious last night or this morning for breakfast, or maybe it was a brunch. Hell, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> we are here and um, we are looking for a maypole. Uh, not many maps have maypoles, especially on the starting island. Um, so I, I've looked at the map. I have not studied the map. So just like I don't know where all the bosses are, I don't know where the maple is. I just know it's around here somewhere. So I'm going to wander aimlessly for who knows how long. And uh, when I find the maple or something interesting, I will let you guys know. Okay, guys. So I was wandering around. As you can see, I've made it quite far. Um, and I saw that little red glow there. The fog wasn't here just a second ago. But... I'm like on the edge of the Black Forest, right? That tower, that that is what's called a Vegfasir, or something similar to that. I know my pronunciation may not be perfect, but it's close. This marks where the second boss is. So on day two, we're gonna, ah, the Elder's right there, cool. I, I don't know if that's same island, if there's water in between us or what. That's where the Elder is. That's fantastic. God. And we're going to get us some fine wood. And coal. But my inventory is like way full, so. Die, stupid chair. Okay, I want all the Grey Dwarf eyes. And so let's dump that. There. Did we get everything? No? Okay. Now I've got the coal, but I'm carrying too much. Let's drop that. Oh, we can drop some of these stones. There we go. And now let's go in here. So, uh, yeah, we just got... F did we, we didn't get fine wood? Oh, it's right here. Oh, scary. There's the fine wood. Cool. Uh, that is a good early addition. Uh, what else can we drop right now? Let's drop some more stones. Stones, easy to find. Other stuff, not so much. Then there's typically a chest right in here. Let's grab all that. So yeah, this is a great little, I mean, and technically, look at this, still in the meadows. Yet this is supposed to be Black Forest because the Black Forest is literally right there. So I placed it close to the Black Forest, but in the meadows, that is even better. So, all right, I'm going to continue looking for the maypole. I just wanted to share that with you because that's pretty awesome. So, let us find home. Guys, this is the fourth. Count them fourth. Oh, wrong thing. Beehive. Fantastic. I will take them all. Four queen bees. Yes. All right. Back on the hunt. All right, guys. So I found the maypole. It's right there. Kind of hard to see. It's right behind that boar. And apparently maypoles are like, uh, like boar stones in that they, uh, they kind of spawn around it. No, don't eat me. Come here little turd but the good thing is is that maybe we we might find like a one star or something like that and we could start a little boar farm early god could you imagine starting a boar farm on day two yeah our inventory is so full it's jacked <laughs> all right so we'll, we'll pick all this stuff up in a second let's go around and figure out what we have as far as these boar go god look at that 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Oh, okay. So we have a one star boar and uh, yeah, we got a two star boar. Thank you, Maple. Okay. Uh, let's get in here since our inventory is so full. This see that one no that one no okay yeah this is the best place let's um build this workbench oh there's a chest in here already even better okay let's repair this place boom uh let's come in here and store some crap i don't care what at this point okay we still have wood right yeah okay so now we need to capture Ah! We need to capture that one star and that two star. Oh, the lag spike is real. Hey, you know stars, you can go. Okay, I think I want to fix this pen up. That's easy enough to do. Repair and get that over there. Okay. And if you're wondering, that is a repair radius. Oh, fantastic. Get it. It's, it's part of, I think, Valheim Plus or something like that. But yeah, repairing in a radius is a godsend. So, we need to build some fences. Okay, well, I... This is stupid. A boar farm on day two. And I haven't even actually set up a bait. I haven't built a bed in this game yet. But I'm building a boar farm. Okay. So, these are little stalls. We'll have our one star here or there, and then the other one here, and we'll get them tamed. So, let's find one of them. Are you one of them? I really should. No, that's a regular old board. Oh, I pissed it off. Okay, you're gone. There. I, yeah, that's the two star. Oh, who are you? You're the one star. Come with me. Yes, you. Come on. Yep, there you go. Oh, yeah, get busy. Oh, yeah, we're going to put you right in here. Come here. Come on. Come on. You know you want to get your ass in here. There we go. Okay. So, I need to eat there. So, got us a one star boar. Now, we just need to find that two star. You're the two star. Oh, they got so he got spooked from something else. He wasn't running at me. He was running away from something else. But that's all right. Come here, buddy. Come on. Gotcha. All right, let's get out of here. There we go. Wow, that is stupid. The fact that I got both of those right now. Um, let's pitch in some. We'll throw on some berries. Look, I'm sharing my food with you. Be nice. Go get, go eat some berries. Okay. And then you get some berries. See, you get 10 berries too. There you go. Okay. Now I'm going to step away. Uh, so that they will stop aggroing and start taming. That's what we want. That is... Wow. So, if you're looking at using this seed, you may want to come up here and... I know it's random, but what spawns in... I mean, what are the, uh, the chances of getting a 1-star and a 2-star are so stupidly rare. But obviously it happens. It may have something to do with the maypole, I don't know. Because this is the first maypole that I've naturally seen in a seed. I've, I've put them in when the dev allows us to at certain times of the year. But this is the first time that I've actually seen one. Um, well, that's not true. On the starting line, the, these things are so rare. For those of you that don't know, the maple is very rare. It contributes to your comfort bonus, uh, to your rested bonus. Um, it, it adds a plus one. And for most of the year, it's not something you can build. It is only something you can find. Let's get that repaired. Um, so 
Yes, it's rare. This map has two of them. I don't know where the second one is. At this point, I don't care. Uh, I'm building my my base around this maple. Our, our starting base will be... My bed will be within 10 meters of this maple. Because that's its effective range. So I'll probably actually build my bed up above it so I don't have to worry about it. And then I can build out around. Um, I am doing a different build style, at least for this place. We're going to go more of a fort. I haven't done like a fort before. I've done all kinds of stuff over the time that I've been playing Valheim. But I want to do something like a fort, which means that I'm going to have to level all this ground, cut a crap ton of trees. Um, Yeah, so let us make a bed and rest for the night. Uh, we need a fire too. So let's do this. Alright, we are all rested, and as you can see in the upper right hand corner, our, our resting, our comfort is four, right? Because a fire gives, uh, leads toward comfort. Being sheltered with a roof over your head leads toward comfort. So comfort four is pretty much the minimum. If we lay down a uh, deerskin rug, that'll add. If I build the, um, the chair, this chair here. What up? Oh, I probably put my fine wood in there. I was like, what happened? If I build this, this will add two. So let's um grab, yeah. So then I build this and I can always just move it later. So now our comfort, come on. Is six, yep. And you don't have to be sitting on the chair to get the comfort six. I just figured, let's force the issue. All right, it could be because I have a big hole in my wall. Um, so yeah, I'm going to um, spend some time. I can't go far while these guys are taming, but I can like tear down that building, kill that boar, tear down that building, um, make my antler pickaxe uh, so that I can start leveling this out, make the... Um, yeah, finish like my chimney and stuff like that while these guys are uh, doing their thing. And um, so, yeah, so I'm going to set up our little basic base here and then uh, make plans for a much bigger base. And let's go with this just because that'll be different. Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's do that. Come on. Oh, get uh, the, there. Okay. And then we will do this. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to knock out some basics here. And then we will uh, we'll figure out what the heck we're going to do. Look, there's our chimney. Perfect. Oh, what else we can do before we go? Bees. We can do bees. Missing requirement. Oh, I need more wood. Okay. I'm going to run around, grab some wood, and get this cleaned up. I'll talk to you guys in just a second.
all of that was absolutely worth it. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, these are birch trees. The white ones are birch trees. And our current axe, the flint axe, is not strong enough to cut the wood at all. So what you have to do is you have to fell other trees into it enough to damage it to knock it over and then for me i really needed to remove the stump because that's going to be right in the middle of our build area and we don't have an axe yet that will cut that as you can see i have been working on cutting down some trees uh so i'm gonna go continue clearing this out i'll probably spend the rest of the the in-game day uh, cutting down all these trees and picking up everything. But yeah, that is how when you don't have the bronze axe yet That's how you get fine wood uh, You find another tree to uh, fall on a birch and then you just start banging the logs together and eventually they will uh, Eventually they'll break and uh, I Want to do it just enough that I can get um, since we already have the chair. I want to make the banner and the banner requires fine wood as well. Increase that uh, that comfort bonus. So I am going to continue jerking around with this and I'll catch you guys. Well, for you, it'll be right about uh, now. All right, guys. So I've had a busy couple of in-game days here. Um, I have uh, cleaned up all the, the little stones, the trees. Uh, you saw me get rid of that uh, birch wood uh, stump over there. I got a couple more stumps over there that I haven't gotten rid of yet. And then I also cleared this section away to lead to the river. And here's my thinking. Okay, I don't fully understand how the water works in the world on the map. But I know that this water, when storms come in, will get huge waves. But from everything that I've noticed in over a year of playing this game, is that the water table that's in rivers doesn't get the big waves like the ocean does which makes sense because that's how it works in real life you know you don't see rivers with 15 foot waves just because it's storming out because there's just not enough uh volume of water to create that kind of turbulence so i'm thinking i want to build my dock here where i don't have to worry about whether the water level is going to be up here or down here, I, I have a much better idea of where it's constantly going to be. That makes for a much better dock. Although I would love to have... I'm, what I'm hoping is I'm going to have to do some research and follow this river and see um, how I can loop it back in, whether I have to dig a canal or something uh, so that I can tie in with this body of water because i want to be on this ocean as far as my boat goes because of the shape of the island that we're on so anyway uh that is uh yeah it's, i've just been piling up birch trees over here that i can't get rid of yet oh look at this guy oh and i also wanted to point out that all of our boars are tamed and we have bacon bits already and we already have two star bacon bits so we have i think two one stars yeah we have two one star bacon bits and the big bacon bits or the the big boar and then we have a two star bacon bits so i've segmented all them off so that when this one grows up it'll breed with that one. Oh, and i am going to name the first three two star boars I am going to name them for the the three gentlemen that have supported this channel beyond subscribing and liking and viewing and and commenting and um i want to thank them i know this is a silly way to thank them but um fang tour true flat barbarian king uh thank you gentlemen for everything that you've done for this channel over the years um, I appreciate your support and your friendship. It means the world to me. And um, yeah, so I'm going to name the first three two-star boars that we have after the three of you. And uh, they will never die. They will live infinitum in this world as the breeders of all other boars. <laughs> so 
Uh, yeah, but uh, thank you. Seriously, from the bottom of my heart, um, what you guys do, you have no idea what a huge support you guys have been. So, and, you know, continue to be. So, I think with that, this is going to be a short episode. I'm going to do some work off camera, like flatten this out, uh, start to kind of lay out uh, the base of what I want to build, because I know that I'm going to have to uh, move this place. It's in the way, but I need to build something to put everything that's in there away. So for right now, that lives. And uh, but uh, yeah, I think I'm going to start here at the Maypole, figure out how I'm going to branch out from here, because it's not going to be like I said, it's going to be a fort. So I think I may do everything, even though I want to point everything toward that water. I think I may point everything toward that water. And uh, anyway, we'll figure that out. But you guys don't need to see me standing here for 20 minutes going, um, um, uh, uh try something, didn't work. Try something, don't like it. Try something, meh. And yeah, so uh, I will be doing that off camera. So I only punish myself. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, if you like this content, like, share, subscribe, click the bell notification icon so that you get notified. Yeah, join me on a live stream. I'm streaming like three times a week right now, all Valheim, um, at least through the end of the year. So, uh, yeah, stop by and say hi. And for the comments today, uh, for this video, uh, let's say Maypole for the win or Maypole FTW. Uh, because this is, this is a great little spot build a village even if the maypole wasn't there but the maypole is what attracted us here got us our piggies we are on the road to the mistlands until next time you take care of yourselves out there this is draco invictus saying this has been the best day in my life see ya